Hello everyone, in this quick video, I will kind of teach you how to turn your normal PDF into something like this. Stay tuned for the steps. First of all, go to hazen.com and you will see this page, very clean and nice, no ads at the moment. Uh, if you take a look at the plan uh, available for this uh, tool, you can create five free flipbooks, no unlimited pages, and then no ads, no watermarks, and it comes in one gigabyte of storage space for you in case you need to upload anything, right? There are also other plans like uh, standard and professional in case you need to upgrade for more usage but i think five will be nice enough so you can upload here or you can sign up first go to your dashboard and you will see like i have used three out of five so if i need more i can buy more if i want to uh, or i can just subscribe to the plan now normally if you talk about flipbook you just have to upload your pdf of course uh, create your content nicely using different tools like canva or anything create your ebooks and then upload it here Normally, we will only see flipping effect, but in this uh, tool, you can create more than that, and it's free. That's the love, lovely thing about this tool. So you'll be seeing this. Imagine this is my ebook or my module, self-instructional module, which I want to add in some interactive element. You can see here I have the flipping effect already. I can key in the title here. It's optional, but it's good to have some title, and you can show or hide it from the site if you want to. Sometimes having title will help those with uh, some visual uh, problems to, to identify your book. And then you have this page effect. You get to choose whether you want it to be more like a book or a magazine or more like the uh, album. And all that. It's just subtle changes, but you can see the difference when you have the content. You can also change it to right to left and all that, depending on your language. You can change the background. This is really lovely. You can upload your own background if you want to, or you can search the background from different sources. This is where you search, and then you can upload in case you have other background, like, you know, branding and all that. You can also use solid colors alone to overlay. And the style, you can change it to be more transparent or the blurry effect if you want to. I think this is good for branding. If you can, you know, if you are putting background you can have logo but the logo down there is in believable will not be changed because you need to pay to remove it and but it's, i think it's fine because it's not disrupting the view content you can add the control right you can have download and all that depending and then i love this because you can change the icon as well because the other tools they don't allow you to change this one they allow you to change the icons i think this is really really lovely and then you can also decide the other features available there and then uh, pagination uh, depending on how you want it you want it to be uh, page numbers and all that so uh, depends whether you want to show it or not background audio if you have some music you want to play go ahead but not really advisable uh, this is also lovely you can set password if you would love to restrict the view of your uh, book you can change it to everyone or per user but normally we will go for everyone they want to get the same password this is for the uh, if in case you need to update your PDF, you need to pay if you want to get the feature, or else to me, I just create a new one, or you can just duplicate like this copy flipbook. Now, this is the interactive part which I like the most. You have four elements here. First one is the link, which is the usual one. You just drag it across the content that you want to link. It can be to the pages within your book itself, like this, or go to external link, like you know, wikipedia.com, uh, for example and open in a new tab i think this is very lovely because normally you can insert link you know as a hyperlink but this one it allows you to embed within the page itself you can also add use this tool to add images right in case you want to replace some images in your book you can just upload it here and then select it like in this case i already have one so i'm going to select it and i can put it here every element you have you can see the top bar there you will see like image uh, click action uh, up there right this is where you define what to do going to a different page or different link and then if you don't need it anymore you just remove it right the same thing with other tools video this is the one that i think will make your ebook very interactive or self-instructional module very interactive in case like for example this module 
I have a video here, but student will need to click it in order to go to YouTube. But I can now embed the video immediately here, right? I can paste the YouTube link if I have the video uploaded. I can also upload it directly here. Mind you, it's one gigabyte space. You can also set the control and everything. Uh, depend on how you want to set it. Okay, and then click close. The video will be embedded immediately here right and if you need to change anything just click on the material again and uh, resize it whenever you like and then if you see the top bar you will be able to change the setting or remove it from your uh, ebook or flipping book then you have the web version like for example in this case i want this column to be linked to my for example google form so i can go to google form and click send and then copy the embed html here or you can click copy and come back here and put the code here so it allows you to embed that as well you can see here that i have the google form embedded here so students do not have to go anywhere they just have to key in the answer immediately within your ebook or self-instructional module this is really really nice and you can embed almost anything with iframe or html so once you're done you make sure it's published and then you click share you'll be able to see the link uh, given here and you know you get to choose whether you want to email or you want to embed you want to share it on social media you want to you know put it on the different platform or use the qr code for students so let's say this is the link you just open the link mm -hmm. so once it's loaded you get to see your flipping effect of course and then you click on the content you added you can see here it is a link to wikipedia directly if you flip it further you can actually play the video you can auto play if you want to but not advisable just allow some control where you, uh, you know the video will be played and you can see it moving and all that you can see that the the form just now it's also available here so student can just type the answer and click submit so you can put your quizzes within your ebook or you know self instructional module itself without having to you know uh, print out or submit it elsewhere so i think it's really, this is really really cool you have some buttons here with the background audio and all that the video just now has audio but because i turned it off so you can't really hear the sound from the video but it's it's a, uh, the sound is played actually this is another sample of like a magazine where you can actually click on the link and then you go to the pages and you can always uh, embed all this multimedia element within your uh, ebook itself or magazine itself so there you have it, Hazen. Please try it out and turn your normal PDF into something more interactive for your students to use and also for your readers to interact with. Stay tuned for the next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much.